New at 9 tonight, an Arkansas family is turning their pain into something positive. After losing their five-year-old daughter to cancer, the couple wanted to find a way to help other families going through the same battle. Our Christina Randall shows us how. When you step into Grace Hopper's room, you'll come face to face with princesses and some dinosaurs. <laughs> Her two favorite things. <laughs> Energetic, uh, always wanting to play outside, very into arts and crafts, loved going to church. Until one snowy February day when Grace started to complain about not feeling well. Got a fever and we took her to the doctor um, several different times and after ruling out things like strep and COVID and the flu, we just assumed that it was a virus and she would, you know, get better. But Grace didn't improve. And after her doctor did some blood work and received the results, alarm bells started ringing. Called me with the results. He said, you need to go to children's emergency room in Little Rock right now. There, the doctors delivered the news. They said it was leukemia and that by the next day we would have the type of leukemia. So the very next day they said it's T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia and they started treatment that day. But Grace didn't let her diagnosis slow her down. The thing about Grace was she wasn't just laying in her bed sick all the time. She was still energetic and vivacious and full of life, you know? I mean, she was having fun even at the hospital. However, after a 16-month fight, Grace passed away on Thursday, June 8th, at just five years old. Grace's parents, Aaron and Caroline, decided they had to keep Grace's energetic spirit alive. Grace is in the hospital. She just, she got so many toys all the time and it made her hospital stay so much easier. You know, when you have new toys that you get to play with, even though you're at the hospital, I mean, that makes things exciting and it made it less of a place that she dreaded to go. That's where the idea of Grace's toy closet began. Well, let's just get some toys, you know, in honor of Charlotte's birthday to donate. But then it was like, well, how awesome would it be if we could sustain this? And so that these kids coming in to get their port access and checkups and if they could get a toy every single time they, they come, I mean, how amazing would that be? So Caroline created an Amazon wish list to help give toys to the Arkansas Children's Northwest in Springdale. She says it's a perfect way to keep Grace's legacy going. Christina Randall, Fox 24 News. Thanks, Christina. And we'll have a link to that Amazon uh, shopping list on our website.